Hello, this is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com. Today we're looking at M Title Mega Pack. M Title Mega Pack is a pack of titles that is wonderful for creating ads, elegant business presentations, history themed videos, YouTube, travel, sports, and more. You can locate M Title Mega Pack in your titles. M Title Mega Pack comes with an astonishing 140 different and unique titles that can be used in such a variety of ways it kind of blows my mind how much is packed in here so let's just take a look at a few of these so you have so many different options why don't we take a look at title number 63 first over this footage here to apply you can simply click and drag onto your clip and as we push forward into this clip, we can see what's happening in title number 63. It's really cool. Not a lot of work has to be done. So on our canvas, we have our on-screen controls for position, scale, and rotation. Now notice that these on-screen controls are only going to affect the center text in number 63. Over in our inspector, we have animation in and out. Then we can make adjustment to our center scale and rotation parameters. We can turn noise on and off. I think for this one, noise looks really cool. We have our doodles and what's happening with those is as you can see, as we push through, we have these little bits of lines that looks almost like chalk or something going across. So that is your doodles there that you can turn on and off. Then we have our text options. And we have all of our colors. So if we wanted to change this to Sloss Furnaces. And then let's just say Sloss Event 2022. And there you go. You just made a really cool promotional video for something that might be happening in a town or area near you. This area here is called Sloss Furnaces. So that would be Sloss Event 2022 super cool let's move down to our next clip now why don't we take a look at number 140 now this one is really unique and let me show you why in this title you can see that it transitions over and it is putting your footage automatically for you and playing you don't have to worry about drop zones or anything like that down in here if you want to call your attention more to the text on the screen as always, on-screen controls for position, scale, and rotation. But then you also have position, scale, rotation for your content. Now check that shadow out. It's really cool that it's going to follow you around. So if you wanted that to be just a little bit bigger, something like that, then there you go. Super easy. In our inspector, as always, the published parameters that you're used to seeing within a Motion VFX title. And then you're always going to have your triangles and your frames and stuff like that that you can toggle on and off. If you didn't want to have a solid background, you could toggle on and off or you can change your opacity so that you are still seeing behind. But the idea is still very much to focus on your text. Speaking of text, if you ever want to in these titles, you can pick the titles up separately so that you can move those around and you're going to get all of the functionality that you're used to in Final Cut Pro with your titles. All right, why don't we move down to our next clip here and let's take a look at number 76. As we push down, you can see that this is going to be a logo title, something that you definitely want your brand to be in. Maybe there's a gaming conference that's going to be happening, something like that. Of course, you can change that text, but why don't we click, as always, on screen controls. Let's go into our title and our inspector, and you can see we have our drop zone for our logo. So why don't we click our drop zone well, then let's come over here. I have made a compound clip with the logo because I needed that white in the background. So I can just click and apply and boom, now we have our logo and I can bring that down just a bit and it is good to go. We have the super cool flashes coming in. It's animated and then boom, right into our actual title. Let's open our titles back up and let's look at one more. Why don't we look at title number 138? And some of these are going to just have a pre-animated background. So we can use that 
as a pre-animated background and it's going to come in as sort of a transition it does its thing and then it can transition out why don't we remove this title so you can see how that looks so we've transitioned in boom we can apply our logo really quickly it's the same way over in our inspector come all the way down to our drop zone select our logo click apply clip then we have the transition in there's our logo there and transition out really really cool and of course on screen controls that's going to move all of your content collectively you can come over and you can toggle your titles on and off you can change things make changes to your color and if you do need to adjust your drop zone only you can do so here and then you can see that there is another option for a drop zone as well so if you wanted to maybe add some images or something like that down in the bottom you could but they are pre-populated because with this one we're uh, we're obviously talking about food so those drop zones are pre-populated with just some different food items that you can replace at a later time and that's about it thank you so much for checking out this quick tutorial for m title mega pack now available on motionvfx.com be sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one